Welcome to Math Memo. We present today a very classic proof of a very classic problem, that is Euclid's proof that there are infinitely many primes. We'll do this by contradiction. Suppose there are a finite number of primes, p1, p2, p3, all the way to pn. Let m equal the product of p1, p2, etc, pn, and let's add 1. The fundamental theorem of arithmetic states that every integer greater than 1 either is itself a prime number or can be represented as a unique product of prime numbers. Let's consider both cases. In case 1, m is itself a prime number, in which case m is a prime number in addition to our initial list of primes p1, p2, p3, etc, pn. In case 2, m can be represented as a product of primes, so let's let p star be the prime dividing m. If p star is any of p1, p2, p3, or etc, pn, then to be a factor of m, p star must also divide 1. However, there are no primes that divide 1. This means that p star must be a prime in addition to our initial list of primes p1, p2, p3, etc, pn. So in both cases, using proof by contradiction and the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, there are not a finite number of primes, therefore there are an infinite number of primes. And that's that. We hope you enjoyed this week's math memo.